Hello, my name is Marie. Welcome to my channel. I'm excited to be part of this fun collaboration today. It's the Great Jack-O-Lantern. I'll talk more about this a little later, so with that being said, let's get started on DIY number one. For the first DIY, you'll need these items from the Dollar Tree. Two pumpkin cutouts, a galvanized decor piece, candy corn pick and fabric, baker's twine. You'll also need some paint, Mod Podge, wood glue or a glue gun. The first thing I'll do is start painting this and I'll be using Apple Barrel's Pumpkin Orange. Next, cut two pieces of fabric, just enough to cover the faces. I'll be using some Mod Podge to adhere these on. I'll be painting this part of the stand black. For recording purposes, I place yellow paper over the galvanized area to prevent the brightness from the light. I'll place this in between both pumpkins and then I'll adhere it all together. I'll be using some tacky glue and some hot glue. You can use these clips from the Dollar Tree to hold this together until it's dry. I got this glitter sheet from Hobby Lobby and I wrapped it around the entire pumpkin. Here's how it's looking so far. I'll add some embellishments and then I'll be back with the reveal. Here it is all complete with embellishments. I added a cute little bow and I changed out the candy corn from the Dollar Tree to these smaller ones from Michael's. I think this turned out really cute and it's perfect for your tabletop decor. So today I'm collaborating with two talented lovely ladies, Jackie from Crafting in Mimi's World and Michelle from Moxie DIY and Java. I will leave their channel links and the playlist in the description box below, so please be sure to check them out. And with all that being said, let's continue on to DIY number two. For the next DIY, you'll need two of these wood cutouts from the Dollar Tree, tumbling tower blocks, LED lights or a tea light candle, tacky glue, paint, cardstock, and a glue gun. The first thing I'll do is use tacky glue to adhere two rows of 13 blocks together and three rows of five. I'm using this tool to make sure all the blocks are straight. Now it's time to paint these. I traced out the shape onto the cardstock and now I'll adhere it on with some hot glue. I used hot glue to adhere all the blocks on and you can also use wood glue. For the gaps around the wood blocks, I cut four pieces off a dowel and then I painted them black. Adhere on the top and now it's ready to display. This is one of two ways you can display this. I'll be back with the final reveal. Here it is displayed with LED lights. I added a bow to the top and extra jack-o'-lantern stickers. I think this turned out really cute. And this is how it looks with the lights off. Here it is with the tea light candle. For the last DIY, items you'll need from the Dollar Tree are three different sized pumpkins, a witch's hat, foam roses, a black paint marker, and a glue gun. You'll also need some gemstone stickers and some black and white paint markers. The first thing I'll do is draw faces on each pumpkin in pencil. Then I'll outline it and fill it in with black paint markers.
If you don't have paint markers, you can always use a black sharpie. I'm debating whether I should add a nose on the little pumpkin, but I think it looks cute like that. Next, I'll be removing the stems from the pumpkins and glue them on top of each other using a glue gun. For the roses, I'll be taking off the back petals and adhering them on with a glue gun. I outline the faces with a white paint marker. I think this adds more definition to the faces. To add some bling on the bottom pumpkin, I'll add these gemstone stickers. They come in a strip, but I place them on one by one. Next, I'll adhere the witch's hat with the glue gun, and I'll be back with the reveal. Here's how the pumpkin topiary turned out. I love the combination of the gems and the roses. This is very customizable, and I think this turned out so adorable. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. Leave me a comment to let me know which one of these DIYs was your favorite. Thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye!